Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm here with an updated hair care inventory. I do my non-makeup inventories like every year and it's time for my updated hair care inventory. So I'll go category by category, give you the numbers, show you kind of my overall hair care collection and I'll also compare the numbers to my inventory from last year. So the first category is shampoo. Currently for shampoo, I have three. I have one full size shampoo and I have um, two travel size. Last year at this time, I was at five shampoos. So this category has gone down. The next category to talk about is actually one that no longer exists in my collection. It's the category of like a scalp scrub. Last year at this time, I did have one of those type of products. And now, as I said, I don't have any. So that category has gone down. Then I have my like normal like conditioner type products, like not deep conditioner or leave-in. I have different categories for those, which is like general standard conditioners. For this category, I have four products. Two of them are full size and I have two travel size. And last year at this time I had five. So again, this category has gone down in number. Um, last year, I did have a category for deep conditioners. I had three deep conditioners last year. At this point, I don't have any deep conditioners in my collection, so that category has also gone down. I do have a new category to talk about. It's like the in-shower stylers. I just have this one item from Garni Routis. So I just have one. Last year, I had zero. So this is um, an increase in my collection. Then I have my leave-in conditioner products. Currently I have two. Again, I have a full size and a travel size. That's kind of like how I like to have my collection. I like to have like some travel size options. Um, but last year at this time I had two items as well. So this category, the leave-in conditioner category has stayed the same. Another category that is no longer in my current collection is hair oils. Last year at this time, I had two hair oils, and now I'm down to zero. I also have a category for styling treatments. So what I'm including in this category is just basically my Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Um, currently, I have two styling treatments. Again, I have a full size and a travel size. And last year at this time, I had three. So this category has also gone down. The next category is my dry shampoo. Currently, I just have one dry shampoo and last year at this time I had one as well, so this category hasn't changed. I have another new category, which is a, like a volumizing spray. Um, so currently I just have one and last year at this time I didn't have anything in this category, so another new category. Next, I have my category for wave sprays. Currently, I have two wave sprays. Last year at this time, I had two. It was the same two products last year. Um, this category is another one where I have one full size item and one travel size item. Then I have the category of hairsprays. Currently, I have three hairsprays. I had three hairsprays as well last year. And this category, I have one full size item and two travel size. And then the last category to talk about is my mousse. Last year at this time, I had one mousse product. I have since decluttered that item, so that category has now gone down to zero. So that's my hair care collection overall. If I add up all the items, I have a total of 19 items in my current collection, which is down from 28 items that I had last year at this time. So I'm happy that my collection has continued to get smaller. I do see some things I could probably use up and not replace. I still see that my collection can continue to decrease over time, but I'm pretty happy with the state of it as it is now. So that is my updated hair care inventory. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.